10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Allumage de ESR et décollage. La propulsion est nominale. Pilotage calme. Seeing our images here on the live cameras. Separation des ESR. Just a few seconds after the event, but we have confirmation that those have actually separated. As I said, the images are coming to us for technical reasons, just a, a very with a very slight delay. And he's telling us that the propulsion is nominal. And there we go. That's what it looks like in space. Those boosters falling away. The trajectory on the uh, right-hand side of our screen. The green, nominal, à bord sont nominaux. Everything's normal. The green line is the uh, planned trajectory. The cross, indeed, is our actual position of our rocket. This is the onboard camera showing the two halves of the fairing that will separate. Coiffe. We have confirmation that the fairing has separated. And we'll be seeing those, hopefully, those images on our onboard camera. It uh, actually, as it separates, David, it, it flexes. It's called the breathing mode. It's a very specially designed to do that. Yes, that's right. The breathing mode. Here we go. We have the separation uh, and the breathing mode uh, through the onboard cameras. This breathing mode is this movement of the two halves that happens uh, due to the forces of the pyrotechnic uh, separation and then the, the ejection forces uh, and the flexibility of the structure. Extinction Vulcan. And we have confirmation that the engine has switched off. Separation LLPM. And we have confirmation that the main stage has, fin de mission sauvegarde. has uh, separated and the upper stage has switched its engine on. And that's what it looks like up there in space with our onboard cameras, that great big nominale of propellant. It's burnt its fuel. It's falling back down to Earth. So, David, the upper stage has taken the wheel. It's a little bit like a fancy orbital taxi driver because its job is to drop off its pas passengers in space. Today, we just have one, pa one passenger. Um, and we've got a new engine for the upper stage. It's called the Vinci engine. Yes, the Vinci engine is one of the big innovations of, of Ariane 6. It provides the mission flexibility. It is designed to switch on and off uh, up to four times, allowing to take different passengers to different orbits.